All right, so as you can see, we're getting a flash code down here. Looks like three flashes, which is telling us there's an error. And if you come right over here on the control itself, it tells you that the error is due to the pressure switch circuit, which could be several different things. It could be a problem with the pressure switch itself, uh, clogged vacuum tube, port, bad inducer fan motor, or blockage in the venting. So we'll do a few basic checks just to kind of see what's going on, what's causing that. First thing, we know the inducer motor is running, at least the motor itself, but that doesn't really mean anything. So next thing I'm going to do is pull off this port right here and see if we're getting any suction through it off this tube right here. It does not feel like we're getting any suction, so we probably got some dirt or something locked up in there. What the pressure switch does is it confirms that the vent motor is running, pulling the exhaust gas out of the system and putting it, pushing it through the flue. Uh, it just con confirms that with a little pressure port tied to the negative pressure side of the, of the vent motor here. And if that's not operating correctly and proving that that is running, it will uh, it'll shut the system down for safety. So right here, right here is where you're gonna feel suction if it's if it's not blocked or if that inducer motor is running. You should feel suction through there, which we're not. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a small drill bit, close to the same diameter there, and we'll try and push it through there and twist. And get anything that might be building up in there out. All right. So all that is clear now. Sometimes you'll get a little condensation build up there during the summer months and it'll close this off and cause it not to work properly. So now we've got that cleared out. So we'll simply hook the hose back up. Make sure everything's getting secure. Push the door switch back in and give the thermostat a moment here. This is the door safety switch. What it does is if the door is taken off, it, it lets this out and it dis disables the system. So that way you're not working on this thing while it's hot with 120 volts and possibly get electrocuted. And that's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, getting electrocuted is not good. All right, so now our furnace is firing back up. We're getting a good, steady, rapid flash. Now our pressure switch has proved. It's kicking the igniter on. Got ignition. Now it's going to make sure that the flame sensor proves that it has proved and the system will run properly now. Yeah, a steady flashing red light, that's good. That's what you want. If you're getting any, you know, certain number of blinks, you know, two through, you know, what is it, two through five on this board, that's an error code telling you that something is wrong. It'll lead you in the right direction of what's possibly causing the issue. And the furnace blower just kicked on, so everything's working like it should. Yeah.